Yeah, that's not gonna last very long. I mean, Alter Ego might last on for a while, but like, the money thing, somebody's... Yeah, somebody's gonna die. <laughs> Little kids have it so easy, because they can put Lil in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? It kind of does. <laughs> the world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils will lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine. Lil arsonist, a little war criminal, a little destruction of the environment, a little hit and run, a little death tax, a little great depression. Even the deepest <laughs> subject suddenly become brighter. Oh my god, I was thinking about it in terms of like rapper names. Our dreams are <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh my god, that's fucking ridiculous. He's like, oh, little, little homicide. Is it uh, 8 a.m. and time to wake the fuck up? Is it 8 a.m.? I don't know. Did they wake up at 8 o'clock? Good morning, oh, everyone. 7 a.m. Uh, well, then I guess I head to the dining hall. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Say hi to my girls. Are their doors locked? Yeah. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Mm. Waking up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting a up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Hey, Makoto. Hey, morning, Makoto. Morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yep, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around in my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Uh, seriously? Uh. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not good at it either, though. I don't think... I don't like to think what I'm playing, so... She's like a, a child. She's adorable. I fuck her. Um... Ah, well, ah good morning. Morning. Mm, Actually, it's mm. a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. He got the nudes. Uh, really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell when my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre. I mean, even for Hifumi. Yes, it was. Uh, it's in here. Hey, everybody's here. All right, same as yesterday. Just us, just us seven. Mm. Yaka and Toko are a lost cause, but well. it looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good too. Ugh. It's just like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago and there weren't any problems there either, but Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but Ooh. it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would I would have thought that to be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. No, it's just like you said, but we all need to be very careful. Huh? Whatever, let's just hurry and eat. We don't have time to stand flapping our lips. What, what are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant for? Yeah, what the fuck happened last night? We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. Is it free time? It's been a while. Free time! Oh, wait. Let's gotta do a little thing. What should I do today? Free time! Oh, I don't know who I should spend time with. But apparently, um, somebody in the comment section said that I could spend time with pretty much everybody after I beat the game. I guess doing it now is just for, like, a matter of, I guess, like, getting skills and stuff. So, yeah. Um, hold on, I'm kind of curious. Do I have any gifts? Uh... Presents, rather. Flotation donut. I gave somebody that. Overflowing lunchbox. Sonic cup. A noodle. Uh, roller slippers. Bunny earmuffs. I think that's for Celeste. A hand bra. Okay, so if we hang out with... Let's hang out with... Uh, let's 
Same with AoE. Oh. Okay, where's Celeste's room? If she's in there, at least. Um, okay, let's figure out where everybody is. He's in the dining hall. Only one on this floor. Only one on this floor. Physics lab. Where is Celeste? She's in the rec room. Alright, let's just go to these two because they're already, like, they're right there. And they're the only people we could, like, actually travel to. Unless I'm stupid. Unless they're, like, in the storage room. And I was wrong. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to- I think you can hang out with two people. I'm not sure. And then it's nighttime. So I'm probably gonna hang out with, uh, Hina or Aoi, whatever the fuck- however the fuck you pronounce her name. And then hang out with Celeste because I could give her- I think I could give her a present. I'm not sure. Um, where is she? Here she is. It's packed. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is through teamwork. You got That's it. a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we gotta survive. Sure. Yeah. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. And we're back. Hina and I grew, Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Uh... If I can find anything. I don't think she would dig the cup of noodle. I already gave her a donut. Uh, roller slippers. Hand bra. I think that's what I was gonna give her. Here's a hand bra. Mm. <laughs> I think I made her match. She probably thinks worse of me now. Oh, well. She. I fucked that one up. Did she take it though? I gotta look of like a list of gifts to give people. Who's at the door? Taka! Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? N no, not quite. Let me see. I want I wanna talk to him. Taka, the way he is right now, there's no way I could explain what's going on to him. Hiroka said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Bitch, what the fuck? I wanted to go hang out with Celeste. Just a second. Where are you going, huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Yeah, I know that, but I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Oh my god, I don't want it. I can't. Is he like? He's not actually behind me, but like. I wish I didn't have to like. Oh my god. Okay, there's a laptop inside the locker. I understand? On the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Well, you just tell you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It's clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Mm. Please. Okay. So, um, do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me right now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to no say more, but quickly close my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um, Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that's must that must be why he feels responsible. The screen, oh, the screen suddenly went dark. And what ha appeared next was... Stop fucking around. Oh, what the fuck? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of responsibility, are you? Yeah. Yo. A man's only worth as much as, as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. That's... I'm sorry if I startled you. It was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo the Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. 
So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that's kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. What if I said it with that <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Taka? Oh It's starting to sink in. The way of a bucket. A bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Those words deep within my heart. They're inside of me. Oh shit, he's all fired up and ready to go. Taka? His hair is white. He went Super Saiyan. Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. F you. Oh, he said F you? Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused some kind of scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm... A new me. I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Oh, okay, Taka, just calm down. What? And don't call me Taka. That's that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. As of tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Ki Kyoga. She looks dis. She looks disappointed in me. He's just like, "Come on, Makoto. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna give you some, some good. Some, I was gonna give you the good." And then she's like, she just walks in. She's like, oh, "Damn it, Makoto. Uh, no. See, this is just. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like it. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. I wasn't trying to get beat up by a girl, so you know. Can I still? hang out with somebody or is it nighttime now because Taka just ruined the entire day I'm worried about him he just went fucking super saiyan on me he was like I'm not talking and he's like oh fuck you I am me I was like who is me <clears throat> yeah I, I I just skip through that because it's it's stupid and then Makoto's just like oh it's nighttime I guess I'll just go to sleep duh Oh, is that a NES? You know why I hate video games? I fucking love video games, bro. Man, video games are the best. Video, man, I don't really believe this, but I had a best friend. Oh. Oh. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies, even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future, either. I, I guess. I mean, that's what... I mean, if you're watching this video, that's what you're doing. I mean, actually, no, don't use this as a guide. This is a terrible guide. This is, uh, not... <laughs> this is the not-so-expert guide. Good morning, get... Fuck! Oh my god, I hate... Can you disable that? I didn't tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. What if he's in the dining room all fired up? You know? He's like, Sup, bitches! I'm Taka! Or Mondo Taka. What? There's only one? You know? Yo, I've been waiting. How are you the only one here? Or is everyone else? Hmm. Yup, they went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, we can talk about on. it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? O okay. Someone help! Hifumi, what's going on? Makoto saved me and never asking for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? What? She's what? trying to kill me! Hifumi pointed at... Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. What did he do the first time? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and access and access Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? What were you doing? Ooh. I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, Listen to I me. suppose I have to clear myself further. <laughs> yeah, don't, please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you, merely instruct you. How very sick. Fumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? I mean, you see, talking to her is just so much fun, and I just... 
Well, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Fumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Mm -hmm. Ha! That I, the clothed bug, killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love, that's... Well, wait, no wait. Is is this love? According to the spirits, I happened to do a psychic greeting for a certain famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about and that? your eyes just now? I saw the same look in his eyes. <laughs> Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. He, she's a he. What the fuck? She's a dick. Or well, a U, a USB. What what we what we have cannot be defined by your petty words. Oh. Yeah, you're totally in love. So how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one time. But then I was poking around her settings and stuff, and she saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was like the first time I was able to talk like that with a normal girl. Oh. But she's definitely not a normal girl. She's not a girl to begin what? with. When, even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Your stories are so interesting, Kafumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I That's the first time a girl said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. That's why I was just so happy. <laughs> like... It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hufumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interest is not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear things it did not know. You are an expert in many of things. In many things, Chihiro could not have taught it about for that what it's worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying that it's totally hurtless, or... You gotta be freaking kidding me! Oh my god. Not this guy. F you. Hey, you jerks, I'm just sitting here listening to you guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. Yo, Yo Taka, are you back? <gasps> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the who, heck? You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo, so it's like Kiyondo, I guess. And I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What the what the heck kind of fusion is this? What's happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. So because of what Alter Ego said to him. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Good uh... ghost! There's no, <laughs> there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Hifumi! <laughs> Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... F you. Bro belongs to me! Huh? huh? What? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let anyone else ever have him again. Fudge an idiot. Like, he's still like the Boy Scout we knew him to be, so he doesn't swear or anything. And like... Like, he called me a dumb butt. <laughs> I'm afraid mm -hmm. I can't allow that. What? So I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Gordian Knot of Truth. Of true love. I'm stupid. Can't read. Well, hit, well me and him... Oh, okay. Well, me and him have, melded, have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. Moron, talk down to me and I'll wrap my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have any arm here, so there's no drag. Enough Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him we can use him to finally gain access to vile clues. Mm. Kyoko's right, if anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. Yeah. What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego is, has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So I can't hear you. I suppose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah! I got it. Yeah! So then. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Kafumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Still morning, it's free time. Sweet. So let's go hang out with Celeste. Because I could give her some uh some bunny ears. 
And I think you could check your uh, report card. If you have a star next to them, it means you're maxed out. Wait, it says they're, 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 they're chest size too? What the fuck? 30, 80 centimeters. 130 centimeters? Holy shit. 79 centimeters. Hers is like... 88 centimeters. So Sakura's got some huge ass titties. What was... Hers were... I don't understand why they just didn't give like a cup size. That's like weird. Why didn't they just do a cup size? Hers is 35 inches. Skills max SP plus one. So it doesn't if it has a star next to it, it means that you've maxed them out. Um I should probably go to like the machine. Well first I gotta figure out where everybody is so I can just like need to hang out with Celeste. Nobody's there. It's like they don't even use the, se the second floor anymore. Okay, so Celeste is in the rec room still. And I'm gonna go play the fucking the machine a few hundred times. It's that room. Here we go. I'm gonna go play the machine for a bit. Spend some time with Celeste. Sup, girl? So let's make her a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah, definitely I'd like to give her a present. Uh, is the D available? Because I'm the type of person who cannot decline a gift, so I have no choice but to accept this, but I want to stress it is only because of my sense of duty. So if she liked it, my color, I would like to share something with you. What is it? My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whenever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase the, your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is? Indeed. That power is luck. Luck. Actually, there are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well. You see what I'm saying? You saying you mean that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling, which is why I've never lost. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> You're the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps wait? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day I'll have to. I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. I'd say my life. My life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not great. Yeah. <laughs> If you're... That's not good. The maximum number of skill points have has been increased. Hey, look at you go. Hey, look at you go. Hey, look at you go. I guess, like, the point of the free time or whatever is just to, like, get to know some of the characters a little bit better. Uh... <sighs> Let me see if I have any presents specifically for, like, Kyoko or whatever. Or maybe I could fix whatever me and Aoi have. Crazy Diamond? Uh, Proof You Kill Chapter 2. It's Mondo's old trench coat. Can you wear it? Can you give that to... Yeah. School Crest. It's a patch that displays a man's fantasy. Chin drill. Uh, a novelist fountain pen. Ancient tour tickets. Bajobo dolls. A water flute. I thought that was a bong. That's a bong. A vice. What the hell are some of these things? Tips and tips. I've got three of those. Project Zombie. Millennium Prize. Uh, wait, what? Old Timey Radio. Pretty Hungry Caterpillar. Mm. 
berserker armor? Is that is that Guts's armor? A replica of a gun preferred by a famous. Uh, it's double seven gun. Why is it only like? Why doesn't it skip to the ones that you have? It's dumb. Um, who else is like on the floor? I guess we could like. We can hang out with like Toko. Wait, what was the point of doing that? We can hang out with like Toko or something. Or we could probably just. Oh I mean, yeah, I'm gonna skip it. Okay, I got it. Hey, girl. Just a second. <laughs> What's up, Kyoko? I mean, certainly. I know you're mad. And I... Is she blushing? She is blushing. I know you're mad that I fucked up with Alter Ego, but I got something that'll rock your socks off, baby. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, I will. And shout out to the Game Facts. Uh. Okay. Shout out to the wrong facts. Wait. Yeah, I give her the chocolate bar. How did you know? I was interested in this. The game facts told me. <laughs> Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't want to waste her like to waste her words. Hey, uh, Kyoko. Yeah. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel as if we're gonna get out of here. We all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make the argument for forming friendships may help prevent killings. So. But are you asking for some sort of some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you could gather information. No, that's not it. I'm just the main what? character of this game. That's right. If you're going home in friendship as you can, this should be an easy question. Okay, so I just have to answer your question. Is that it? So then. Uh, Hina, yeah. Uh, nice body. Nice. Correct. It would seem... Uh, then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you can never lie. Everyone would know right away. You can't with the foolishly open stuff. So then... Okay, then as promised, would you, what would you like to know about me? Uh, what school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it like an exchange program, or do your parents work overseas? My parents, I suppose. Well, the question marks. Anyway, okay, she was looking up hard because of her dad's job. What kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question mark? Okay, so he just... Top secret work. All you think of is assassin? <sighs> I kept on my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. Okay. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. <laughs> yeah, like... Okay, and hearing what she had to say even added more mystery on top of everything. Yeah, guys, report card has been updated. Your maximum skill points went up. Yay! Uh, huh. Bajobo dolls. I have those. That is apparently another item that she enjoys. So next free time, I could probably uh, give her that. Unless something story is going to happen.